to mm -hmm. hit you off on one shot. Well, we're going to be starting off here with Envy on the defense. And of course, this is just a pistol round. So taking a look at these defaults, we're going to have the Reyna and the Omen over towards the A side. Going to be holding there. And of course, FNS chilling in mid here. They don't want to give up mid control too easily. And well, server on B, name a more iconic duo, am I right? <laughs> well, he doesn't quite have the Odin just yet. So that duo just is only yet. going to become more iconic as these rounds progress. As we're just waiting for two on to make a move. Ooh. Oh, Skidoodle run right into FNS. The trade is there. That was fantastic play there. Pushing through onto mid, using those smokes for a little bit of utility. FNS was the only man holding in mid. And now, as we see T1 pushing onto point, they've managed to bring themselves to a 4v2. This is fantastic numbers for them. And they're just not stopping yet, continuing to shut down this defense. Haven't planted the spike just yet. Seems to be playing very... Oh my goodness, they've given up so much time and space. Left. And Mume able to get the kill onto Brax. Now it's a 1v2. They do push here. One moving through Catwalk just to deny some space there. Brax, of course, on the lurk. Manages to get two! That is ridiculous! Just chilling One out on these might be absolutely here. And of course, they'll get a follow-up kill over on the A site as well. Last man standing for Envy. That's that's the round. That's a pretty solid offense from T1. They know exactly where he is too. Spider's just gonna shut the door on him. And that plan should Spike be coming planted. through. If you're FNS, you just want to try and keep yourself intact. Better yet, take one member from T1 out before you can. Quick, because as soon as Envy see that spike on A, they're going to go for this rotation. That Reyna can be so very deadly if she's able to catch you. Oh, but they get T1 so hesitant. They don't want to commit, but their hesitation is I should get a bit of them. Envy think the rotation's going to come through and that's over the band in his post. And they've managed to get the first pick onto left. the A site. Spider teleports onto site and throws out the smokes to give themselves a little bit of dark cover here as he goes for the plant. But of course, the drone is coming through to catch some sites. Spike will go down. We're looking for post plant positions here from T1. Can they hold this down? Who managed to take down AZK? Manages to get two. And he still has the hot hand. So that's some healing available and the wall up to deny some sight lines. This is still very winnable for Envy at a 3v2. And we've got Dazed so far away. He does have the Hunter's Fury available. Yeah, and since the spike has gone down, he's holding on to that, waiting for the sound of the defuse to come through. There's the sound. And there's the Hunter's Fury. Does he manage to get one? Manages to ding just one. Two one being a little bit more cautious once again. Leaving them both. That's a huge Hunter's Fury that comes through there, but actually doesn't manage to get one. Anyway. Who continues to be the MVP of this team manages to get three. That's a lot of cleanup from Envy. And once again, it is a pretty predictable play though. When you can see that Tier One really don't like pushing B main early on in the round because of how known that so is. Then they're going to go quite no hesitation right into A site. Deploying full drone. stacking, and Envy just are not left with time to blink. Spike Spike. 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 One. Oh no, Dazed has the operator, misses the shot, and Crashes is able to follow up and get that kill. Now, food on the lurk. He wants to be coming around through a main. And no one's watching it right now. Spider one and the check. Oh, the, the shots fired. They will give away his position. He does use the run it back to get a little bit of information. Hasn't spotted out just yet. Not able to get a kill. The run it back forces him back out of sight. The last two players are watching this entry for dear life. The jump peek just to get the information. That was oh, the push is coming on too, but they're still keeping a presence on A. Oh. And we're going to see Three that unfair number of fights. Everyone has all of the advantages, but they don't have the natural cover. The boathouse is able to find the safety to pick one of them off. The Ten enemy. seconds the left. Like now it's the question of getting that recontest. Caduceus is going to use. I know exactly in, but no one's actually caught out by it. Brings it down to 2v2. Omens versus Cyphers. It all comes down to this. The two lurking boys. One has an operator, but misses the shot. There's a lot of smoke in the way. He has smokes and cages abound. One and a lot of nine sight lines. And while that's happening, the time is ticking down. Spider will pick up his third. One, and and one man standing. We may will take down Spider. 
Oh, the fake. He's gonna run out of time though. Oh, he's gonna fight another one! Like ships in the night! And it's Brax that's able to get the 180 take. This is a beautiful camera from FNS. Interesting oh, hunt. Here comes up. I didn't really have any information to back it up. But he does manage to get a few things. FNS time back so perfectly swings out as the Hunter's Fury ends, but it's not enough to secure the site. Spike has been picked up once again. Mube gets forced out by the Aftershock. And a nice dark cover Shock there done. to deny the sight lines as well. The plant is Spike good. Planted. It's 4v3 here. Yeah. And these post-plant positions are vital. I love seeing that Skadoodles moved all the way into Wine. We're gonna see Phoenix pushing up here. Oh! Skadoodles uh. spotted him out, called it out. Doesn't need to call it out, gets the kill. It's the 4v2 and now crashes in food. Or crashes in mummy rather. They're gonna have them on their attacking range. It's lovely for that rank, but they want to pick up the cape. This one's already popped. They're gonna try to move in aggressively and find a pick. Faze is able to search out wine and picks out your boots, and that signals the way she wants to very safe. One enemy remains. Into A, they've got control on rafters, they've got control of main. Spike can easily get there as poor old food is left out in courtyard to try and keep himself alive. Manages to get a Spike kill. Planted. Not quite able to get the second. He does, of course, know that there is one person there. Oh! It's a win. T1 are coming in with eight. Oh man, this was so spicy from Brax. That lurk. And this ballsy play from Food. But there have been some amazing plays here from these players. Who would expect? And that's the reason as well why Envy are currently completely avoiding. <gasps> Going mid market, Ooh. they just don't want to go into those dark covers. So T1, yes, they've lost the player, but they've got enough time to actually get the rotation when they see where NV is heading. NV looking planted. solid here for this very first crystal round. They do manage to get the spike down, oh. and now it's all about post plant positions. And they have every angle covered. Uh, Cypher in the tree with Omen for some good backup there. The rest are playing more on site. Nobody holding... Oh, there we go. There's the Sova out in wine. So we've got that covered as well. They have every possible angle covered here. And it's going to be so difficult when the entire team of oh. one are trying to funnel through heaven. One oh, enemy remains. out the stain because they're pushing together as a unit. They need to make something happen here. They've spotted our Drax. Cage trigger. You've got to go fast because you may have Correct. spotted out that Pfeiffer, but now there's a over. 30 seconds left. He's waiting to move into position on rafters. SNS. Spike, Spike. Is, 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 that Spectre is Ooh. going to try and keep a hold of that one, but it is so hard if you don't have the superior firepower to win that fight. One enemy remaining. Piled against you and all of tier one. They're just able to keep a hold, keep Ouch. themselves out. Of line of sight is FNF. He's gonna be able to hit days, but that's all he's going to be able to get. T1 managed to pick up a ninth point and set themselves up finally on this defense. Envy had a really good attack. Ooh, left. That recontest to come through. They Spike just want to the map and that timer, and then they can move back into those repositions underneath Hell. So T1 can't just go for Raptor's play. They've got to drop down and probably contest this. Envy push onto site with the running back, and that is huge. They're able to get it, but oh my goodness, what is this open threat? Almost manages to get to. They're exceptionally low, and all it takes is just a doodle. The player and they get the cleanup, backed up by, of course, AZK. They push onto point, and unfortunately, those post uh, Envy are running in with like sheriffs and not much else to their name here. So they're just gonna kind of move in. Ready for the next round. One and this is a perfect example of what happens on an eco round. You rush in, you try and get some exit frags. You're much more rewarding the longer you hold on. Oh, oh, Skadoodle's Skadoodle. not even going to wait. It's going to dash straight into A main with that blade storm and find One out. enemy Absolutely remaining. Nothing. Um, what was it we were praising about T1 before and their patience and how it's going to be rewarded? <laughs> I mean, they had the ultimates, they tried to push out Spike aggressively, planted. that may have worked had that not been a full A hit. I think if it had only been like one or two people there and not four, Skadoodle may have gotten away with that. But unfortunately, he dashes out into an enemy team. And the swing from the rest of his team is good. Brax doesn't look behind. They have to commit into this. It's all bait play, though. Because Envy are going to keep right in for T1 that is fully rotating. No way! Oh, 
are monstrous. Now they can get them while they're back to turn. The Hunter's Fury will come out. Manages to ding Brax. He manages to jump out of it and not get killed. Keep giving me a call. But is it going to be enough if an enemy manages to get too close on their own? 2v3. Use your manual theft to get that information. And that's the perfect way to use this ultimate. But he's coming up against a dead colleague, comrade. You know what? What are friends for, right? So he manages to pick up the Phantom here. It is the 4v5, but as I said, he's popped the Empress. That's going to give him a little bit of an advantage here. Spots out the Owl Drone. Now, this is where the tension builds up. This is map point. And they're kind of stomping around, making a ton of noise, making it dangerously obvious where they are. Caboose manages to get a kill here over on the B site. Can he get two? No, get taken down by Dazed Odin. But the numbers advantage is still firmly in favor of T1. The spike is here on the B site. Oh, he doesn't manage to kill the recon bolt. They know exactly where he is. He's going to try and push towards B site. Link up with his cipher and not move together. 30 seconds left. They've got Certainly a plan. choice. I mean, they need to, but they don't have the time. And they don't realize that Brax is right there. The plant's going to come in, Brax but this is going to be a pincer movement. Right there, oh, there we go. Now they know he's there. I love these jump Spike peaks. Planted. You don't really get too much information out of it, but if somebody shoots at you, it tells you exactly where that person is. Oh, didn't need that information. The thing is, the spike will start to be planted. The rotation is coming through from T1. They're moving through Hooker to try and make for a pincer movement. No one has died just yet, as I say that. Brax is going to take down one. Skadoodle will get yet another one for T1. As the numbers go back and forth here, it is seriously scrappy on this point, but T1 do come out on top. They waited it out in A, they waited for the perfect opportunity, they were playing for retake, they had the angles, they pushed through, and that's an easy round win. It's that same problem, different map, same occurrence. Town any wires to warn them of a flank, they all they really have wire. is the camera, which immediately gets taken Gage down by Brax. Can they push onto site here with all the space in the world? They're going to be running straight into Brax, who manages to take one, gets flashed out, doesn't get the follow-up, gets paranoid as well, tries to get yet another one, but on the retreat! Oh, Caboose, is he able to get this last kill here? Yes, on the other side of showers. T1 just give up that point entirely for free, Moxie. Fine, they pull the Arnab back out as he pushes onto site to try and get the information, gets taken down though. Unfortunately, doesn't get what he would have wanted, but once again, that gives Envy the opportunity to move on to point. Mame also teleports up into heaven, and they take full map control. Absolutely free. The showstopper will come out, and he kills himself with it! Food! What are you doing? Uses the from the shadows to actually escape. Spur trying to clear their name, make that redemption play. As T1 are going to be taking control of heaven, but the spike isn't actually near. Hey, this is a big old oh. goose chase time, but the longer it goes on, the less favorable position the attack is on because they just left. don't have time now. They've played themselves. Oopsie. The, somebody, like, make this clip, add the meme, you just played yourself. Defense was sticking to that position for you Oh no! turns around to take down the recon bolt tries to Black use the uh, rolling thunder but gets taken down mid ultimate and this was a fantastic rotation from envy staying as far away from the operator Spike as humanly planted. possible and brax i mean he he's not getting involved in this you know it's like the b hit it's actually going to be the one this time with that phantom alongside Ooh. the solo but oh the satchel pack from food is beautiful Stop them from disengaging, make sure that they take damage and go down to the spray. Envy has stopped hesitating. They've hit the point, they've decided it's going to be theirs. And it is exactly in their clutches now as T1 are left a little bit lost for words. They're not used to Envy moving in this quick and making a decision that abrupt when they don't have all of the pieces oh. of the puzzle. Oh. So all of Envy are once again moving forward so aggressively on B side. They've got control of Hooker Hot Hands already used. Keep that Phoenix up and alive as FNS is going to push through on Gardens. Goodoodle going down means a big I amount of zoning exactly utility is now there for it. And T1, who once again are oh, going to be man. forced with this decision. Do they try and go for this recontest? Or do they keep that no. operator 
And five thousand and off they their run. credit safe. You can see that one, one enemy remaining. Oh, but no, Rex! Not able to get away. I wish we could have seen that because I, I highly doubt he was scoped in for that kill Yo. to have come through so easily for Mummy. That is super unfortunate. They're going to yoink the operator as well. And this is a revitalized Envy. They just needed a chance to turn this around. They needed to get some guns in their hands. And they've really made a risk of the information that they would have wanted. Now all they really have is the showstopper. And if, oh, can you get a better showstopper than you did before? No, you cannot. You didn't kill yourself with it, but you give yourself an opening to AZK. And this is T1 turning it back around. A fantastic round from T1. That there is someone around showers. Hunter's Fury will come out, manages to tag a little bit of damage, gets the kill onto AZK. That's massive. That's going to take down one more person on the A side. B is free and clear, however, but Envy seem to have committed here. They are going to be pushing through onto the site. FNS is already on site, manages to take down one more. It's kind of back and forth. It's 2v1. FNS is the last man standing, but the spike is all the way in A main. Can he oh, but to there's him? not Can an operator currently looking through heaven. Ooh. You're safe to pick it up. That's a teleport. Spider teleports all the way back to, you know, the teleporter. But if it is, hasn't picked up the spike, he's trying to save you. Little does he know he could so easily get a plant. But now he's wasted so much time that Spider has moved his left. way up to showers. Wait, if I he... have retrieved the spike. Does he go through the teleporter? Oh, he's no, he's going to try and go for the plant. No, Spider's oh, no. right there. Spike planted. Well, Spider camera is up, so he will have information. And Spider has <sighs> not pushed in with the operator just oh. yet. He's waiting for Brax to get into position on a shot. There it is. He doesn't even need to that wait for his teammate. That was such good communication between mm -hmm. Spider and Brax. Brax does the jig. Some contested long enough for the rotation to come through. T1 force bought into this round, and it's a really bad start to lose Skadoodle right off the back, off the bat. They have managed to push onto site here, but they're once again giving too much time for Envy to get into position for a solid retake. Crash is all the way up in heaven. He's got sights towards showers. And the spike is kind of hanging outside of lamps. They're not aggressing in just yet. Oh, the cypher lurk through showers. Is he going to be able to spot out AZ? Not AZK, who's he? Mm. Nothing's happened just yet. Again, just kind of stalling out food spots, cracks. And that's Red it. That shuts up. down the lurk. And this is terrible for T1. They, again, just playing so slowly and not pushing in oh with what God. little opportunities they have. AZK will manage to get Spike a pick off there, which is fairly decent. They actually get the plant. These two teams playing so passively. No one actually wants to do anything. And then when somebody finally does do something, the other team doesn't know how to handle it. It's two teams playing, like you said, hot potato, and they're not sure how to deal with this. But the, with the spike being down here, Envy not wanting to push in, not wanting to get the retake Land just yet. Oh, Spider, caught without any spider. utility. <laughs> spider sends out, or, or Daze sends out the owl drone, and Spider's just like, I'm, I'm gonna peek with the drone. And the drone gets completely ignored as Spider gets taken down. And once again, that is an attack round crippled for T1. But the numbers are evened out. So it's still a 4v4 and they still manage to get the plant. This is fantastic work from T1. I'm not too sure what Envy was doing while all of this was happening. And T1 have great post plant position here. They have every angle covered. Time is running down. Food's going to fake. And the... Oh, a little bit of disruption here. Nobody's actually going for the defuse. There we go. Brax manages to take down his counterpart. The Hunter's Fury finally comes out to try and disable the defuse, but he's being chased down long. Manages to stop him. More opportunity here as they know that there was a push coming through Hookah. Skadoodle was making a ton of noise in there, but FNS manages to get the kill while blinded. Follows up with a second. Skadoodle takes him down, but it doesn't matter because Envy have the numbers here. And once again, it's one person left alive and dazed out. Not really getting much of anything. That's going to get followed up by a showstopper. Let's see if we're able to survive the showstopper. Skadoodle manages to take down food. And that's a good pick. But the trades are going back and forth here. It's 3v2 in favor of Envy. And because they're the defensive side, that heavily favors them. Crashies. Oh, sorry, not crashies. Uh... 
Sova for T1 days. Thank you. Very, very close on site already. Moving away from site, not opting to go for the plant this time around as he's going to be reaching or meeting up with crashes if he's not too careful. Manages to pick up a weapon for himself. Seconds now he's left. got a rifle. And this is so he does tense. Have the drone. He does, but they also need to go for the plant. 10, 16, 17. He's going to do it, but he's doing it right in front of heaven. Special packs are there to keep crushes uh -huh. occupied while that comes through. Shocked out out. But right now, it's the question of where the uh, this operator is going to come from. Cover going and on. He's got all of his utility paranoia going to be coming through. That's a dark cover. He's, he hasn't Why been blinded. He doesn't need a dark cover. Oh, oh, but doesn't expect the flanking caboose. Last person left alive. Yeah, it is dazed. And once again, that flanking caboose, it'll get you every time. You've got to be so, be so careful be good. when it comes to those recontests. Because T1, they were able to get the plan towards that A hit. FNS. Just going to try and fade out. He's trying to get Ooh. Warbang. Warbang is successful. Thanks of the Phantom able to pick that Cypher up. However, now the information comes on through. And if they want to go through this quick rotation, left. they do have the Form of Shadows. Oh they goodness. do have the Operator and land. You're having to swap up because you're getting pressed in on them. You just don't have the room to shoot. And T1 have been able to overwhelm the MVP One player standing. One player left, but now it's no. a one versus one. Just doesn't manage to get into the teleporter, but left. was able to actually oh. get the spike into the TP. Doesn't realize that Caboose is hot on his heels, is expecting him to come through the defender's spawn. Spike planted. The spike looks like it is going to go down. The hot hands is going to come out, but it's followed up by a paranoia. The paranoia does not connect, though. It's a 1v1 situation here. Phoenix versus Omen. Spider knows exactly where he's put that spike. Oh, he's jiggle peeking. He manages to take down Caboose and finally, T Lured T1 have been playing this. They don't really have a super set default. It's just kind of Brax chilling in showers and the rest of the team will chill out in the mid area and kind of swing between A and B before choosing on a site to hit, depending on information. I love that fluidity, but unfortunately with Brax going down so early on in showers, it does not bode well here for T1. Paranoia is gonna come out. Brax manages to get a kill despite the paranoia, but gets taken down by Momay for his troubles. The counter paranoia is gonna come out through showers. Numbers advantage here for, well, no one as uh, the picks, the trades will continue to come left. back and forth. But now Days, last man standing here for T1. Spike is on the floor, doesn't matter. Massive Caboose pushing through B, trying to get a lurk on. And Spider, who teleported up into heaven, has taken control of that. But now T1 are confused. They were starting to rotate towards B, but the call comes through to say, hey, we managed to kill two on A. A is relatively clear. So now they have to come all the way back, but they need to be careful because FNS is waiting. He's watching main and food left. knows that Spider is up there, manages to get the kill. And once again, T1's hesitation just works against them. You can see it working. Both of those strategies would have worked beautifully if they just committed to one of them. Because B was completely void of man. Envy members. There was no one there. The entire day of Envy left. members had seen the Omen take control of heaven, knew that T1 would say, oh, do you know what? We have high ground. That's advantageous ground. We've taken out two Flight members plan. on this ground. We know that they're not going to spam. The more that clock dwindles, the more likely we are to see that attack forced into that position where they just have to rush blindly into one of these points to actually make sure that they can get that spike planted. T1 still holding onto that rolling thunder that I mentioned from previously. And there's the rolling thunder. It's gonna come through straight onto B site. And this is where T1 starts to move, moving a little bit slowly, but Daze does manage to take down Caboose and that's a fantastic pick. Left. But is it going to be enough? Because food gets onto site and takes down two. Brought it down to the 2v2. But now things are in favor for T1 as AZK just continues to pop off and be a force to be reckoned with. And this is a really good round from T1, but they need to continue on this momentum. Of they course, the, the, omen. the uh, dark Ten cover was there. Left. There was a dark cover that completely see obliterates him from sight. Paranoia is going to come through. It catches AZK. Uh, dark man. cover comes through. Uh oh. AZK in the window and it. Mid on to them. The first going to have to use a lot of utility or risk exposing themselves. And that will provide T1 the opportunity 
take this close quarters fight and upgrade their weapons. Mummy finally holding really, really close in mid, and that's because he's managed to pick up the judge. But the dark cover shuts him down a little bit in terms of sight. It's not going to be enough to stop him. He goes on an absolute rampage, gets two kills. Now two of his own managed to get taken down. Very unfortunate there, but they still have the numbers advantage. Yeah, they're aggressing in on Skadoodle. Skadoodle gets a pick, but the follow-up is good from food, and that's going to... So he does want to move in, but Mummy is just holding this angle. They're hearing the communication. There it, is. there it is. Spikes down in garage. <laughs> I mean, what more do you say about that, right? One For some revenge. reason, they had Spike pushing alone through B, left. and it's not the first time they've done this. It's the second time, in fact. Oh no. Oh no. Brax. It was on to 30 oh, seconds three. left. It looks like it's going to be the oh, A hit. Finally, three. the Rolling Thunder will come out, but the Counter Rolling Thunder comes out as well. And that's going to create a lot of dissension between these two teams. Nobody's taken a shot just yet. Flashpoint comes out. Paranoia moving across the map. It's a good left. trade, but it's heavily in favor of Envy. Oh my goodness, oh. Mume. <laughs> he just flanks over from the B side, pops the drone. But instead starts to make the rotation, but he's gonna run straight into Oh, manages to teleport out of danger. But food has got a sight on lock. And that's it. That's Envy and winning out yet another defensive round. Moxie, I'm sing me my favorite song. Want to get in as quickly as you can, do as much damage, try and pull Oops. one of these operators out. Emphasis being Oof. on try. It's so hard to close up to this distance, Sam, when you're on split. Ooh. Because all the defense needs to do Oopsie. is all these really punishing angles. I know exactly where I mean, are. just that was... This makes this a pretty solid eco round for T1. Managing to kill two? Right. Yeah, I mean, we take that. It's not going to do much to their economy at all, but it's impressive that they're able to get two kills. It's become commonplace. That makes me happy. <laughs> Oh, what also makes me happy is very clean operator shots. And that's going to be Mome once again just shutting things down. Oh, man, losing your jet. I, I said it on the first map and I'll say it again. That's your entry fragger. And it's super unfortunate to lose that out so early on. The raise is still alive. So there's some potential there. Cage but three, once again, three. you know, this is T1's typical playbook. No this is It's left. telegraphed. That's the word I've been I've been searching for. T1 right now is telegraphed. Envy know exactly what they're going to do at just about any given time. And the spike is still chilling in market. Nobody's done anything yeah, but... with it. They've started to push out, but... And Brax just dies to food. <laughs> T1, unfortunately, I, I gush about their mid control, and they do indeed have mid control, but it's the same attacks. So if Envy have been watching the VODs, if Envy have been following this team, when it's in, you know, a tournament like this, you do want to do your 30 homework, seconds left. you know what they're going to do, and that failure to adapt is absolutely brutal. So too was losing your jet so early on, because now you just don't have the threat of blades on, you have to rely on Spider to use a lot of that utility. Although... Just to make sure that they can safely get onto the point. They're gonna oh, avoid no. into Mume! Oh, no! 10 seconds left! They no scope. avoid into the operator shot. One enemy remaining. Can he get the point? He has enough time. Your team and it can get you killed, fam. It doesn't oh. differentiate. Oh, that teleport, that was split seconds, but as soon as he peeks out, just such low HP. FNS gets the wall bang, and he will get the defuse. But this was a fantastic round for T1 because they've managed to take the operators out of Envy's hands. That being said, I mean, we said it before, Envy are trust fund babies at this point. It, it doesn't matter. They're just gonna buy new- 30 seconds left. Going for that B push once again. Going to come out. Both Razor's actually going to be trading off showstoppers, but it's Caboose's. He was able to pick up one, and unfortunately for you one, that was not the raise that you wanted to find success. You do have rafters. You do actually have Mome currently separated off in B alley, Ten but you seconds still left. got to be able to hit the shot. Oh, beautiful satchel pack to make sure that you don't go into the operator line of sight. That was unfortunate. They've now run out of time to get that spike plant down, but they've taken down a lot of NB players. Again, does to get the jet away. Oh, Rolling Thunder coming oh, out crashes. <laughs> to make sure that you keep control of tower, you keep control of heaven, and 
one just not going to be able to have that full numbers fight that they were searching for when they were able to get rid of one of the operator oh, I love that play from Mume. He had the operator, but immediately he like left a gun on the floor so that if he got pressured out, he could swap to a rifle. And there was no issue. He didn't have to wait for somebody to die or whatever. So that was a really good play from Mame. But now T1 are in like the most awkward possible situation. They're chilling in the defender's spawn. We've got an omen they have all the way in mid with the spike on his 30 own. seconds left. But FNS is waiting on the B side. They expect him to be there, but Rifle V Spectre, it is going to be the Phantom that wins that one out. He just about solo holds here, but it's a 1v2 for AZK. And I... Mm, does he get the plant? No, he gets forced out of the plant. 10 seconds left. And he's going to move in as aggressively as possible onto this A side, trying to shut down AZK, who does have the black point, who can Ooh. buy his own safety with his utility. But now you don't have the chance for trade. He won very quickly, going to be rotating a lot of players, moving, swarming over that A side. But you have to be very careful of Envy, especially that five, uh, Omen, who will be lurking, who will be oh, coming no. through mid, which again has been abandoned. <laughs> And this doesn't bode well here for T1 as that already comes up. Picks just coming through here for Envy. It's a 4v1 and the last person goes Attacker down on screen. Wins.